okay so in the first step we created the uh, Azure logic app and if we go into the logic app designer so I added the first step and uh, in the second video we created a Azure storage account so whenever an email comes into my Outlook inbox I want to uh, get the attachments and store them in the Azure storage account so I will uh, create a new step in here so I have to go with this uh, built-in controls so I want to select for each and I want to get attachments from the email and I will add the action and I will uh, select Azure blob storage and I want to create a blob whenever an attachment comes and I want to select uh, the storage account we created and I will give a, a connection name like uh, email attachments and click on create so it's getting created now I want to say the folder path so uh, for the folder path uh, I want to select uh, the container so I will go here and uh, if you remember in the email uh, attachment the storage account we created this attachment container so I want to select that attachments container that attachment folder and for the blob name uh, whenever a email comes whenever a attachment comes with that email I want to save this blob as the uh, attachment name and I will select the blob name should be the attachment name and the blob content blob content should be the attachment content so likewise I have added the blob name and blob content so now what we can do is we can save this okay the logic app is saved and let's go into the overview section okay so uh, now let's try to test this logic app whether it's working now the logic app is saved so you can see the uh, in the designer when the email receives it it checks for the uh, attachment it has attachment if there are any attachments for each attachment it's going to create a blob the blob name will be the attachment name and the blob content will be the attachment content so let's try to run this one and uh, check what happens let's uh, run the trigger so we have to send the email to test this one so I will send the email to my account so I will attach uh, I will attach uh, maybe a PDF file so I will attach this PDF file and in the inbox uh, the message is still sending So I got the uh, the email with the one attachment. So now let's see whether this uh, logic app is triggered. Uh, but this uh, app is running in every three minutes, so it will take some time. But what we can do is we can go to the logic app designer and change this frequency. Maybe let's say this will run in each 10 seconds and save this one and 
we'll come to the overview section and run the trigger okay so it succeeded so let's go in there so in in the runs history you can see this has been succeeded each step has been succeeded so if we go in here so the the input was the inbox uh, and the importance these these are the ch the the conditions we added the folder should be in box importance has at attachment include attachment that's what the input is okay so you can see the raw input from here and if we go to the output uh, so we can see something like this with the attachment and that email content so so if we go here for the for each we have created the blob so now you can check this uh, in the body section you can check the email you have sent and the attachment you have got the, the for the blob the attachment has been created uh, with the media type this PDF and the path and this is the name so now let's go into the uh, the storage account and refresh this PDF is created so if we try to see that one you can see the PDF like this you can download that as well now let's go to the Azure storage explorer and check this one so it's there and you can open the PDF from here the email attachment you got okay so yeah now let's try to uh, if we tr if you try to send the email with no attachments with no attachment it will not create it will not execute this Azure logic app okay so now let's try to send this uh, email with multiple attachment so with this kind of uh, I have attached uh, Excel file uh, text file uh, PowerPoint the uh, word document video even a video so whatever these attachment will go into this storage account we have created so since it's taking uh, some time to do that so I will uh, stop from here so but you can try with many type of attachments many type of files like this okay thanks for watching this video so we'll meet again in another section